Hello and thank you for watching this video on sale cattle preparation. We decided to put this video together because we had several sale managers ask about it and whether or not we had any educational demonstrations on this topic. We felt like this would be a great tool for new and experienced breeders that either have an annual production sale or consign to a local specialty sale in their area each year. This video covers the basic fundamentals of fitting your cattle for a sale. You can go into more or less detail with your own cattle if you wish. However, this is to show the key points on which you can focus to give your cattle that extra edge on sale day. Uh, it just goes to show that a little extra effort goes a long way in the sale ring. In this first clip, we just wanted to show viewers what we started with. Now, keep in mind, we had a very mild winter down here in South Texas, so there wasn't a whole lot of hair to work with. However, I think you can clearly see the areas we're focusing on uh, when fitting bulls for sale. You can see here that these cattle have some excess hair over their tail, along their crest, and then down over the neck and shoulder and into the brisket area. They aren't too excessive uh, on their face, but uh, in other parts of the country, you'll find bulls with longer hair, uh, sort of bed head you can call it on their face and, and more hair on their top line and underline uh, and the areas the other areas we mentioned previously as well uh, even though these bulls have a fairly light coat you can still tell the difference in the end uh, you see the the sheath there uh, with that extra hair uh, the tail head and uh, the rest of the tail just has some extra cover there and so we'll, when we go in there you'll want to just kind of trim them up make them look nice and clean neat and uh, get them ready to, to represent it at the sale. Also on the head, you can see, um, you know, like I said, not much, but you can see that there there is some extra hair there. And uh, when you cut it and clip it, it gives it a nice smooth appearance overall. So first things first, we went ahead and knocked out the tail. It's fairly simple. You want to leave about a third at the end of the tail as well as the top. You can see where we started uh, and clipped off the middle section, leaving the tail head. You also want to make a clean cut at the very end of the tail, but uh, do it at a slight angle as to keep the natural look of the tail. Uh, you'll also see as you go, you can go straight up um, on a parallel with the tail and just kind of clips the tips of those protruding hairs around the tail head. You'll see right here, he clips it off at an angle. Uh, it makes a clean cut, but it still leaves a, uh, a nice natural look. He'll show that at the end of the of the clip here. You can see, like I said, he went parallel with the tail and then took a little bit off the top as well, leaving kind of a 90 degree angle, but it just kind of clips the, the ends of those hairs around the tail head to give it a nice fresh look. And then right here, uh, like, I, like I mentioned, he cut it at an angle with a clean cut, but still left that angle, leaves it with a natural look uh, when it hangs there. All right, the next area makes a difference when bulls are in the sale pens. You can see there's a noticeable amount of extra hair around the sheath and prepuce. Now, you may not think much of it, but sometimes that hair can be thick enough to make the sheath appear to be longer than some buyers may desire, in addition to just not having a clean, presentable look. So we just want to clean it up for those purposes. Uh, also, the hair may collect mud or stickers, and so this could be... Uh, even something that you may want to practice regularly anyway outside of the sale ring, but you simply trim at a downward angle and then square it off at the end. Next, we move on to the head. Now, you may have some animals that are more stubborn than others, but keep after it and just ease into it. Uh, hopefully, they'll cooperate with you, but you'll want to trim against the hair, around the pole, and then down the face to the nose, uh, as well as the base of the ears and... Uh, be sure and you know stay above the jawline. Don't go much further back than that. But uh, wipe all the hair away to check for any missed spots that you might have might have overlooked. Now this next area, you can see uh, animals are out in the pens, out rubbing against stuff, hairs every which way. Uh, you got some excess hair on the crest and neck and shoulders. And so this next practice is called torching. 
this is a simple alternative to using clippers on the areas where it is more difficult to blend with blades. Uh, many use blades in the show ring, however it's a bit more time consuming when preparing multiple animals for a sale. Uh, so you can see that you have a propane torch, you only use it quickly over the areas where there is sufficient amount of hair on the animal. It singes the hair to an even length and then you brush uh, the burnt tips off with a scotch or curry comb leaving a, a smooth full appearance that basically kind of blends itself. Uh, you can see that you're able to pinpoint areas where the hair sticks out a little longer and touch up without a whole lot of error involved. Uh, be sure that you stay, uh, don't stay too long in one area as to not harm the animal. Otherwise, this is a quick, painless procedure and it will save you time and potentially make that animal more appealing to your customers. You can see he's moving it quickly over the shoulder area uh, in the neck and you can do it a couple times uh, and then brush it away. And then also you want to make sure you get down there in the brisket and uh, remove any excess hair. You can take some off the top line, top of the crest there, and uh, it really does just give that animal a good, smooth appearance and, and a clean, fresh look. Now you'll want to make sure that you do this to both sides, obviously, but uh, for the sake of time and, and just an example, we did it on, we recorded it on this side, we went ahead and did it on the other side off camera, but uh, basically what you do on one side, you're going to want to do on the other. Now we did two bulls uh, for this whole segment, so you'll get a little bit of each bull, but as you see as he comes out, he's uh, got a clean navel, uh, he's clean over his top line. Uh, you know, when you're looking at those bulls closer in the sail pins, you notice the tail more. Um, you can see, but he's just got that fresh look over his crest and head and neck and everything. And um, you may not think so now, but like I say, when you get up close and personal with them, you can see the difference. They don't, they just have that clean, fresh appealing look it's kind of like when you and I go into an interview or go to do a presentation we want to have a good haircut and look presentable and, and that's what this does for these cattle thank you for watching we really appreciate you um, watching this segment and uh, be sure and look for the article coming out in the magazine that'll go into some more detail uh, and we'll also talk a little bit about condition and feeding practices for the, for sale day Thank you for watching, and uh, like I said, as always, feel free to contact us here at the office uh, via email or phone numbers listed at the website. Thank you, and have a great day.